very intentional about the language that I use because I don't know if you've heard in my previous videos that I don't ever really say your mother the narcissist or your mother the narcissist. I say your narcissistic mother. There's a reason why I say that because when I'm talking about narcissism, I'm talking about maternal narcissism, which is the spectrum of traits of narcissism, which can be a few traits to the full spectrum which leads to narcissistic personality disorder. I'm not diagnosing your mother. I'm not saying go diagnose her. What I'm saying is these are the behaviors that your mother may exhibit. These are the traits that she may exhibit. The more of these behaviors, the more of these traits that she exhibits may mean that she has some narcissistic traits. May mean that she is more narcissistic. I'm not saying that your mother is a narcissist. The only way that you will know that your mother is a narcissist is if she actually goes to a mental health professional, gets help and gets diagnosed because mental health professionals are the ones who diagnose for NPD. When I say narcissistic, I try to convey it as an adjective, describing a person, not actually calling them a narcissist. I can't do that. I'm not a mental health professional. And when I talk about maternal narcissism, I'm not talking about hurtful behavior that happens here and there that maybe a mother may do. I mean, we're human. Sometimes we will hurt people unintentionally and then realize we've hurt them. We've hurt our daughters unintentionally. I am talking about the pathological pattern of behavior. And most daughters will know this, that they've experienced throughout their lives. Like they literally don't remember their mothers and they have been like this since they've been in diapers and even into adulthood and they continue to be this way. It is a pathological pattern of behavior that continues to follow them into the daughter's adulthood. So I'm not talking about just here and there, something happens. That's what I mean about maternal narcissism. So when it comes to maternal narcissism, some mothers will display some narcissistic traits. Remember I said pathological pattern of behavior. This has been the normal for the daughter for as long as she can remember. Two, you know, the full spectrum of the nine traits that the DSM describes, which lead to narcissistic personality disorder. And I'm going to give you the traits and some of what it looked like when we're talking about maternal narcissism. The less narcissistic your mother is, then she may make some changes. She may be okay with some boundaries. It also really depends on what she values. And it also depends on what culture she grew up in. If she grew up in a more individualistic culture, if she grew up in a more communal culture, that's going to affect how she reacts to certain things. For example, if you have a mother who's more individualistic, she might react in a way where like, I'm going to abandon you before you abandon me. I'll be fine just by myself. If she grew up in a more communal culture, she may have a really hard time with you setting boundaries or going no contact because she sees, she values family or the perception of what family looks like. So she might be more pushy. She might try to get your attention. She might do more smear campaigns, you know, stuff like that. So it really depends on culture too and how they were brought up and gender roles too. Daughters of narcissistic mothers have almost always known their mothers to be this. They tend to use similar behaviors from childhood to control, to get their way, to get attention, and to money. The reason why I also want to point out the distinction is that I see many daughters get stuck with the label narcissist. They're like, I want to know for sure my mom's a narcissist. Uh, I just want to know like if they are a narcissist and maybe like this, that, or the other. The reality is like what you want to look like, look at is not the label my mom's a narcissist because you can't know unless she actually goes to get diagnosed. You want to focus on the traits and her behavior and not just the label and see how that aids in your healing. Maternal narcissism is a pattern of behavior where the mother is consistently trying to get her own needs met. She doesn't pause, she doesn't think, she doesn't reflect. It's all about meeting her needs in that moment.